Well, hello you gorgeous people of the interwebs. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my mid-month vlog. I've got lots going on today. I bought some stuff that I want to show you. I've got to post some stuff and I'm going to show you. I need to organise some stuff. There's probably going to be kittens. I'm all freshly washed and showered. Put a bit of serum in my hair. This is a Paul Mitchell serum. It's called Super Skinny Serum and apparently it smooths and conditions. And this is a product that I've had for years and years and years and years and years. And it's one of those things where I bought it thinking, oh yeah, I'm going to really look after my hair. And then, you know, I just kind of fell by the wayside. So um, I'm making sure that I use it now. Slap it on some damp hair. Seems to be helping. I seem to be getting dry lips a lot lately so I'm going to be slapping on a little bit of my cocoa lip balm mmm ah oh, it really is wonderfully smooth I've uh, even put it on hubby a few times my room is an absolute tip at the moment I still haven't started work on the reorg uh, I need to do that because it's it's crowded and a mess so let's have a look at the outfit of the day for today. I am wearing this very old, I've had it for, I don't know, six years, seven years. Uh, this is an All Saints sweatshirt. Look, it's got, rawr, it's got a leopard face on the front of it. Um, yeah, it's an oversized, it's kind of asymmetric. It's got like a little cut out there. I'm wearing my Hush joggers in leopard print and on my tootsies I've got my little llama slippers from Yota Style. Now I'm gonna have to leave the house at some point today to go and drop things off at the post office and uh, do I, obviously I can't wear the llamas out, but do I wear the rest of it out? Maybe, probably, more than likely. I wasn't joking when I said my room is a bit of a mess. Let's get rid of some of this. I may have mentioned to you before that we do a quiz every Saturday and our quiz master hands out prizes. So one of the prizes we won <laughs> was this little butterfly. Look at the little butterfly wings. I really love the colour of her. She's like super squishy. She is called, uh, she is a squishmallow. And you are invited to collect them all, which I won't be doing. But what really made me smile when she arrived is her name. Her name is Maribel the Butterfly. So wonderful, beautiful Marie is uh, with me all of the time. So cute. The time has come to try out this Texas Gold Rush coffee from Autumn. Oh, oh yeah, it's dark. Dark. Okay. Normally I'll have like a medium roast, as it says on my tubby here. So let's. I'm gonna have this as a cappuccino, so it seems appropriate. Let that brew for four minutes. It smells really, really rich, really dark and really rich. Four minutes is up. Uh, normally I'm a little bit uh, flexible with the four minute brew rule, um, but when it comes to something as dark as this, I don't like it to end up being too like harsh. It can get a bit bitter. That's what we've got. I'm gonna try a little bit of it on its own. It's gonna be hot. Oh yeah. Oh. That is really, really dark. Okay. Wowee. That is go-go juice. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of uh, chocolate on the top. Hello. Oh, Daisy baby, you're so cute. Could you be in the market for a Licky Licks? You want one of these? Do you want one of these? You know what's coming when you see that plate, don't you? Yes, yes, yes. Here we go. What's this? What's this? Oh, do you love the Licky Licks? Do you love the Licky Licks? Do you? Licky Licks. Oh, baby. Come on. 
Oh yes, okay, let's give you the licky licks, shall we? Are you ready? Oh, it looks horrible to me, but she loves it. Come on then. There you go. Daisy's got this thing at the moment where she needs to be held, so. Come on then. Oh, yes, my baby. Oh, look at her. just absolutely throws herself at everything with wild abandon. We, she does make it very hard to hold on to her though, because she does throw herself, don't you? Don't you, baby? Where's your sister? Your sister's not as snuggly as you are, is she? I end up carrying her up and down the stairs like this. I've ended up trying to edit videos with her like this. Me just clicking with the mouse. Now what are you doing? Look, are you stretching? I need to do the dishwasher. I need to do the dishwasher. Mm. Oh, you think you're going on the work surface, do you? Well, she's down, I can do the dishwasher. At the very beginning, the kittens thought these were really interesting until I walked on the hard surfaces and listened to this. of the little sticky pads on the bottom and they really weren't sure but Daisy's not too freaked about them anymore which is really really good hello yes I know I'm trying to hold the camera so people don't get sick yes 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 you're okay with the sound now aren't you oh my god do you need to be picked up again you just jump down so the girls have lots of toys but their new favorite thing is Yes, Daisy. But their new favourite thing is to play with bits of kindling for the fire, isn't it, Daisy? Oh, Lily. They absolutely go nuts for it, although predictably they're not doing it right now. I think it's because the camera's on them. Yeah, all the toys. They get bored of them fairly quickly, but kindling... I can keep them occupied for hours. Seriously, you know how much everybody loves you. Say hello, show everyone how beautiful you are. Lily. Look up. Lily baby. Oh, hello Daisy. Lily's not so keen on being cuddled. Oh, look at your face. You're not the most beautiful cat. Yes, you are. Should I feed you? Come on then. The girls have done so well in adjusting to having their cat litter downstairs. I mean, these are their two mega massive cat litter trays. These are the ones I picked up in last month's mid-month vlog. So I got this package from John Lewis, as you know, my favorite department store. And I wanted to show you what I'd ordered. First up, on top, yes, I bought a summer hat. I love a summer hat, <laughs> uh, but I always seem to be unable to find the right summer hat. And this one, I think, could be the right summer hat for me because not only does it have that sort of neutral colour that you want for summer, but it's got black in it as well. And that was the original price, £30, and it was reduced to £9. So I thought I'd give it a go. This is the Lancome Tonique Doucier. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't think I'm going to keep this one. Um, I think I need to send this back. That's why I wanted to do this unboxing bit first, because I still need to go and send my eBay sale. I've got a face wash for the Hubster. 
He really, really likes this one. This is the Clarins Men Active Face Wash. This is what I think you'd be expecting to see. This is the NARS palette that I was talking about. It is so ridiculously heavy. Like, I can't tell you how heavy it is. It's like this is real metal and not just plastic that's meant to look like it. But the colours... Hello and yes, please. I'm under the kind of yellowy light in the in the in the um. Oh look, hello camera. Hello. <sighs> Inception. Um. So yeah, the colours are lovely, but it is so heavy, and I want to be able to use this when I travel and stuff. So I am going to um my scales and I'm going to weigh that because it seems ridiculous. So I'm going to pop this on here. Can you see that? 153 grams is what that weighs. This is the Charlotte Tilbury palette. You can see it's much bigger. It's got the same kind of the same amount of product. This one is 130 and I don't take this on holiday. I want to be able to take this everywhere. What I generally take on holiday, something like these Charlotte Tilbury palettes. This is the Rebel, but I'd end up taking two or three of these. 54 grams. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, gonna, I'm not gonna put this in my, my bag and take it on holiday. That's going to go back. I'm going to package, repackage the NARS up and send that back. I bought this t-shirt. It's like a turquoise, a pink and a red. And on these hearts it says, give a little love. I'll put some information up in the description. But this was an initiative John Lewis and Waitrose did over Christmas. And it's supporting, the proceeds of supporting two charities. So I'll put the details of those up on the screen and in the description down below. There's still a few of these items left. This top, da, 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 you may recognise the idea of it. This top is the same as my double layer dress that I bought in the sales last year. You can see it's got like this jersey underlay and then this drapey chiffony type there you go, overlay, and it's a little cap sleeve there. Originally, this was £49, and this was in the sale for £15. So I've got a creamy white version of this, which I wore on a video very, very recently. And I've got the dress version of this, and I really want the dress version to come back, and in different colours. Now, this wasn't in the sale. This is a pair of pyjamas. Again, this is John Lewis' own brand, and these pyjamas are... 36 English pounds and right there's a couple of reasons I got these one of them is hello see this little chap here does he look familiar it's King Julian's little cousin on the pajamas so this is a uh, jungle print with those wonderful little lemurs on them um, and the reason I wanted to try these pajamas specifically is because I love these kind of shirt pyjamas, but I am very short of leg, so all pyjama bottoms are way too long for me, like six inches too long for me. These are cropped! So on me, they're full length trousers, but on anyone else, they'd be halfway up the calf. And the sleeves are three quarter length sleeves as well. Brilliant. So I'm gonna do a little mod shots of all of these for you. Once I have packaged up my eBay sale, because I have decided I am not going to go to the post office dressed in my leopard print, jogger bottoms, I am going to actually get dressed. This is the dress that I have sold. I've stored it like this because it's got a lace top. It is a dress by Coast and it is beautiful. It's this really heavy duty jersey fabric, which is always gonna come up gray or blue on screen for some reason. Um, and it's got this sort of like bat wing short sleeve, but this, look at that neckline. Oh, how beautiful is that lace neckline? It's a high neck with a little button on the back. And it is just beautiful. And I think I wore it once for like a Halloween party or something. It's knee length. And it was just waste sitting, doing nothing in my wardrobe. So I'm going to package that up. I always, always send a little thank you note. Here are the pyjamas. Look, 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 look. 
cropped three quarter length sleeve, cropped trouser, perfect for someone with short little legs, I've got a long back, it fits really really nicely, it's got pockets and check out the little piping detail on the pockets, it's got elasticated waist there, the piping detail is also on where the buttons are and uh, yeah, oh it just feels great and it looks fantastic with my little armors. So uh, what do you think? This is the Give a Little Love t-shirt. You see the Give a Little Love bit there. And this is a size smaller than I would normally go for. This is a size 16, not a size 18, because 18 was out of stock. But looking at the shape of it, it's like a box t-shirt. I thought, do you know what? I'm feeling confident. And it fits really, really nicely. I really like it. And uh, I've put some jeans on because I'm going to leave the house. Um, I would wear this with my colourful rainbow John Lewis sneakers. Also included a charitable donation to the NHS. Yeah, it's nice, I like it, I like it a lot. And I like the fact that it's not right up in my underarm because I get a little hot. What do we think of the hat? What do we think? Do we like it? Do we not like it? And this is the top, so this is the one that's got the sort of chiffony, oh you can see it in the light behind it, chiffony overlay. And there's the under jersey piece, there we go. Just that, love the way it sits. On some things I think I would wear it tucked in. Uh, but with these jeans, because these are high rise jeans and not a good look. Not a good look, not there, no. So, I'll try and cover that bit up. It is what it is, I'm not ashamed of it. It is there, I uh, just don't want it on show. And I've decided to pop my little Carvella booties on because I got these for Christmas 2019 and I think I've only worn them once and they were here in my room because I'm going to stretch them out a little bit just across here. They're a little bit tight there, um, not going to be able to wear them in. So I've got some boot stretches and I'll try and stretch them like that. But I love the heel on these, nice and sturdy. I've got my parcels and I'm ready to go. Pop those down so I can show you my outfit of the day for going to the post office. I changed my shoes for these really, really super comfy ash high top trainers because the boots were pinching already so i've got my oversized john lewis camel colored coat on my oasis high waisted jeans i've got my hush cashmere fingerless gloves and as i said in my mystery unboxing video i'm going to use this tom taylor um pu bag uh, because I'm not worried about stuff spilling on it or anything like that. So in here, I've got my sunglasses, I've got hubby's keys, I've got my mask, some hand sanitizer, I've got some paperwork to go with the parcels. And right, I'm gonna head off. Let's hope there isn't a queue at the uh, sorting office. There is so much going on this February. We've got Lunar New Year, Year of the Ox. So Happy New Year to those of you who celebrate Lunar New Year. Kong Hei Fat Choi uh, would normally be celebrating with the Chinese contingent of my family. But obviously this year um, we can't do that. I am going to attempt to put my beautiful little jade bangle on. Now you can see the issue here. So there is a trick to putting this on. I am also going to have to remember to take my gold bangle off first, otherwise that's not going to come off until this comes off. And once this is on, this stays on for a few months. And um, this is apple and with a tiny little flash of lavender. And I bought this in China in 2010. So that's Lunar New Year. Kong Hei Fat Choi again. 
Uh, we also have Valentine's Day and hubby and I don't actually celebrate Valentine's Day. Um, we started off doing it when we first got together but it just ended up annoying us uh, because we are supremely affectionate and sweet and cute and celebrate each other every day. We're always telling each other we love each other and always doing like little kisses. We hold hands on the sofa and stuff like that. And um, I know it's all very and a bit but um, that's us, that's what we do. So we don't specifically go out of our way to celebrate anything particular on Valentine's Day, but I wanted to do something with you yes you and do a little galentine's giveaway this is the galentine's giveaway and i've got a little bit of a funny story about this because this is actually a giveaway i ran for my 1000 subscriber on instagram someone won it and i got in contact with them and they never responded i tried to get in contact with them a few times and it was quite weird because it was like a fellow instagrammer who um, had been really, really active and we'd been sort of connecting for, for months, really. Um, so it was very, very strange. Anyway, she, I tried several times to get in contact with her. So this is another opportunity to win this Dior Beauty. Mmm, pretty. <gasps> da, 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 this cute little Dior pouch in this lovely sort of peachy pinky colour in here is the double pack the lip maximizer and a lip glow and they're both in color 001 pink in case you're unaware of what they look like that's what they look like and i also have this little dior pouch i love these little pouches and in here is a little tester of the miss dior eau de parfum and a tester of the rouge dior couture color lipstick comfort and wear in the color 999 and the little bullet very cute and look oh this is matte isn't it isn't that beautiful so this is a little galentine's giveaway from me to you to say thank you for your support and your love and for coming back and watching my silliness on my funny silly little channel so how do you enter this wonderful little giveaway, you might ask? Obviously, I would like it if you were subscribed to me. That would be absolutely wonderful. But really, really, all you have to do is comment in the comment section on this video. Sisters before misters. For those of you who can't leave comments because you don't have a YouTube account official like, then you can go over to my Instagram account, styled by Gwenny, look out for this photo and do the same thing over there. Leave a little comment in the comment section saying sisters before misters. Again, it would be lovely if you follow me on Instagram, but I am not going to make it compulsory because I am just here for the love. And to say thank you to you gorgeous people of the Instawebs for all of your support. And of course, if you leave a comment here on YouTube and a comment on Instagram, you get two entries into the Galentine giveaway. But Gwenny, how will I know if I've been successful and won the Galentine giveaway? Well, I shall announce the winner on Instagram and on YouTube on Sunday the 28th of February. So that means you've got a cool 13 days from today to get your entries in. <laughs> Good luck, guys. Right kids, we're by the sink because it's time for me to attempt to get this bangle that you can see is smaller than the palm of my hand onto my wrist. So first thing is I need to take this one off. Um, I've got a few things that I need to use to do this. I've got washing up liquid for slippy slidey. Also a plastic bag and it looks ridiculous but it really, really works. So first off, I'm gonna try and take this one off. Um, it's quite key to get your hand cold because then it helps kind of contract. I've been, it's freezing, it's cold weather anyway, so this is just ridiculous. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of, because this gold bangle as well is quite tight. you're off give you a little rinse so that's the size of the gold bangle compared to the jade bangle but crucially this is round and this is kind of bent because this is 22 karat gold it's quite soft and easy to bend 
um, which makes it much easier to take off and put on. So let's just have a look. Yeah, always makes me nervous when I do this. Always makes me nervous. Right, so cold. Bit more washing up liquid. Pop the hands that the bangle's going on into the bag. More washing up liquid. And like I said, this always makes me nervous. I can't believe I'm going to do this on film because it makes me feel a little bit, a little bit queasy. Let's get that nice and lubed up inside and outside. Get your bangle and are you going to go on? Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Ah! Ow! <laughs> okay, we're on. So you can see straight away there's a little line where the bangle digs in at the at the um, tightest point. You can see, yeah, and that's going to come up in a bit of a bruise. That's going to come up in a bit of a bruise, but we're on. And she goes to there, so that's that for several months. And I am going to put this back on in front of it, although. Oh, oh yeah, that bit there, yeah, that's going to come up a, an absolute corker. See, that is where it got stuck when I said, don't get stuck, don't get stuck. That's where it had reached to, and it just needed to get over that, that little fleshy bit and that little fleshy bit there. Right, I'm going to be jingling a lot from now on. Oh, ooh. I do feel a little bit queasy. Husband is making drinks and I'm going to try this little Western Sun Gin that Autumn sent me. Crack it open, big half, boy. Half measure for you. Half measure, what, yeah, it's only a double. Was it, oh, actually, nice. yeah. I went too close initially. You're such an alcoholic. Oh. It's got a little, almost a lemony hit to it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That is clearly not enough gin in that glass. Thank you for not putting too much tonic in there, baby. Right. Cheers. Chin chin. We're looking forward to a cosy evening with kittens, fire, and something fun on the telly box. This, oh, there's a tiny little bit left in there. I'll have that in a second. This was delicious. My only complaint, it didn't last long. What are you doing? Lily? Oh. Why are you sitting on the bin? I've got the kettle on. Why are you sitting on the bin? Hmm? Hey? Oh, where are you going? Oi. Oh, you're so beautiful, aren't you, Lily? Look at your colourings. Look at your markings. Look at your beautiful eyeliner. You're so pretty. Yes, you're so pretty. Right, because the gin didn't last long, uh, I'm trying a new wine. This is the Muscadet, and it was recommended by the lady in the shop who I gave her my preferences. Hmm. I could definitely drink that, which is handy because I've got three bottles of it. It's bedtime, so the kittens get treats. Daddy's on treat duty today. Daddy can. Daddy nice. Daisy. Mm. It's another packet we've done this week. Jokes. They don't have that many treats. Bedtime yeah. treats. Although Daddy's a little bit more liberal. <laughs> Hello. 
Oh, Lily, you're so gentle. There you go, Loon. <laughs> it's a big thing, and you're just going to swallow it off. Yeah, swallow it off. You've got to make it small for her. Oh, Lily, you're so gentle. And then, and then there's a crazed. Lily. Lily. She's actually being really good. Last one. E easy. There we go. Crumbs. <laughs>